All right, I'm back. How's it going? We got Monzon Brewing, and this one is Bocho, Bocho, or Bacho Horchata Ale, and this is 5.9 out of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. The wife just brought this back, or, yeah. So, and 5.9, um, I have no idea what a Horchata Ale, it's probably like a Horchata-inspired ale. I don't know. We're just going to have to see what it uh, provides here. I do like, even though it's in a different language, I do like how they kind of give a little breakdown of what you could expect. Color, two, maybe three. Whatever Cuerpo is, is about five. Amagura, Amargura is about a one. Malts are about a four, and hops are about a one. So, better than nothing. And then we got, uh, looks like, 7, 14 of 2021. Let's crack it open and take a look at it, because honestly, I don't know Spanish, at least not that well. And I have no idea what they're going to give me here. So definitely a lot brighter color than I thought it was going to be. For whatever reason, I thought it was going to be, you know, like an amber, brownish um, color. But not the case. Horchata is like a cinnamon color. Um, milk or rice water type deal really unsure how that's going to come across in here now on my side this is like a, a light pale yellow type color on the camera it looks like it's coming across as orange but it is what it is i definitely get remnants of horchata on the nose not exact but if you if you look for it it's there pretty good it's different it's definitely different but it's pretty good so not super sweet like you would think it's actually somewhat sessionable um it's you know about mid in the viscosity maybe less than mid um the mouthfeel you know what i mean it does have a rather soft like pillowy uh, mouthfeel the taste on it I didn't get like huge waves of cinnamon, but it was more like mellow cinnamon and an overall creamy vibe. Not bad. It's just slightly sweet. I like it. All right. Let us get into this. We're going with Excess from Murphy and McNeil. And this is one of their Infinitus uh, releases. This is their small batch. Um, stuff. So whenever you see this Infinitus uh, label, that's one of their small batch. And this one just so happens to be called Excess. This one actually melted out in the sun. I let it harden back up, tried to uh, smooth it out a little bit. I did one um, brush load on the bowl, on the tub. And then this time I scooped some out and put it in my Lancaster Razor Works shave bowl. So we got... It all loaded up right there. Very creamy, beautiful looking lather. Got it in my Lancaster bowl. Gonna be using my Turn and Shave um, Famine brush. And I call it Famine because it's part of my Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse collection. But you can kind of see it's got uh, silver and gold inside of black. And then we got a black dyed burl wood on the bottom. Very cool stuff. That has the M2 hand tied knot on top, and it is not gelled. I specifically asked for it to have no gel. I wanted to see those soft tips in action all by themselves, no gel. And it is a quite enjoyable knot. It's very dense, but it is quite enjoyable. And you can see that uh, soft curl that we got going there. It's a good sign. The Kodiak base is an absolutely killer soap base. One of my favorites. I was actually very bummed when this came in because it sat out in my mailbox and it melted in 90 to 100 degree weather while I was at work. But 
have no fear. I let it acclimate to room temperature and it works just fine. Works just fine. No, no uh, noticeable degradation in the performance. Made a beautiful looking, dense, creamy, luxurious lather. And the scent on this one is bold and banging. I think the last time I used this, I had a sufficient buzz going. A, an impressive buzz. <laughs> um, from a night at the brewery, and then I came home to get a shave on. But um, this time, I've only had one beer with my dinner, and now I'm having one beer with my shave. And that'll probably be it for the night. So I am sober and here, present to enjoy the scent on this one and enjoy this shave. And hot damn, I mean, that lather, that is a good looking lather. Kodiak base, or as I call it, the collapsed veins base, is some good shit. Real good shit. One of my favorite bases to use. <clears throat> can never forget that Kodiak is and has been a contender for some of the best shit we have available to us. All right, let's get to shape. Today I'm going to be using my latest custom. This one is from uh, Yenes or Henes Razors, and the camera probably will not do this justice. But it is a beautiful razor. White abalone scales. We got a red, uh, bright red spacer in between, spacer and wedge. And this is a quarter hollow, I believe. Seven eighths. We got a little bit of file work on top. It's the most elaborate razor I have thus far. And it is a fucking beaut. All right, let's get into it. I always say the edge on this one is quite unique out of my collection, whereas it's so smooth. Like it doesn't feel sharp like the majority of the other ones, but it's absolutely not tugging whatsoever. It, it doesn't tug. It just doesn't feel sharp. And I don't know if that has to do with the grind or what, but it just feels so smooth. It's kind of crazy. Now, it does cut, like I said, it has drawn blood before, but it's just so super smooth. It's kind of wild. Now, I just saw today that Murphy and McNeil um, announced that they are doing affiliate links to what looks like pretty much all comers. You just sign up on their website. And um, I've never done anything like that before, but I really do like Murphy and McNeil. And since it's open to all comers, literally any one of my subscribers could link it to their Facebook or Instagram or whatever. So there's no YouTuber <laughs> bias whatsoever. I figured I would actually participate in this one. And I'm only going to put it on my Murphy and McNeil videos. Or, you know, videos where I'm actually using Murphy and McNeil products. That way it's relevant. But I did sign up. You know, surprise, surprise. Not something I normally do, but I did sign up. And um, if you are planning on using or purchasing anything from Murphy and McNeil, and you want to, uh, I think you get a little discount. I guess I should have done more research, but if you want to purchase anything from Murphy and McNeil, want to maybe save yourself some, or maybe you just want to support my channel and help me out some, 
I do make a commission off of these um, sales that I that I potentially could generate. So it's it's minuscule, but it is there. So I figured I'd be transparent. But yeah, if you guys do want to use that link, it's there for you. And if you don't want to use it, I don't really care. It's no skin off my back. I'm just offering it up because it's available to literally anyone. So I suppose even if you wanted to sign up, link it to your Facebook, and then buy stuff off of your Facebook, you could probably do that too. I don't know. Just saying. All right. Got the blade all clean. Let's lather back up for pass two. But first, another swig. Now that we got the business out of the way, the link was in the description, by the way. Um, now that we got that out of the way, the scent on this excess is a wonderful aromatic woody scent that is based off a men's cologne called Paco Rabanne's XS, the letters XS, and it is not one that I was familiar with prior to Murphy and McNeil bringing it to the wet shaving world. And um, when I did a little bit of research on it, I said, wow, that sounds pretty good. I, I actually want to pick that one up, you know, so I made a concerted effort to pick it up whenever it was released, like two months ago or last month or something like that. I don't know. I lose track of time. But I picked it up and I did not regret it. It's a wonderful woody aromatic scent. It does have a nice spicy spiciness to it. And this one here I think would be killer for like fall, winter, cold winter months, cold weather, nights, nighttime. Um, this one here I do feel like is masculine. It's sexy. I think this would be a good date night fragrance. Um, it's just, it's a winner in my book. I think it's a good one. All right. We just have a beautiful dense lather and we made plenty of lather. Even with the M2 being a little bit of a lather hog because it's so dense, this Kodiak base just blew up. I love this base. <clears throat> All right, against the grain. And it's funny because as I go, like with my strokes, I could just hear the hairs popping. I don't know if it comes across for you guys, but like I said, even though it feels very, very smooth, it's definitely cutting. <laughs> I love this razor. Get all the beard hairs back up where they belong. Set it down on the chopping block. Hope everybody is uh, having a good day. First day back at work today. Uh, after the holiday weekend, the three day weekend for me. And, um,. It always feels rough that first day back after a long weekend. And the resulting week, like the short work week, still feels like a full work week to me because you're a day behind typically and you got more on your plate, a shorter amount of time to get it done. So for me, <laughs> it's always a busy week, the, the short week after a holiday. And today definitely proved to be a very busy day, long day, busy day, um, but we made it through. Put that to the side. Let's go ahead and get this side. Definitely, it's always a little bit 
nerve wracking when you got your beard lines to worry about. That helps a little bit and give me a little bit better uh, visibility. I spy little weeper. Don't know what the hell happened there. Maybe I came in a little bit hot or something. That is always a possibility. Especially when shave is good and going good and you're feeling a little bit confident you might get a little bit careless definitely a possibility all right let's go ahead and uh, clean off the blade and then we'll get into a little bit of post shave here very nice that uh, the scent on this one's just banging, dude. And um, it's not available anymore because, like I said, it's small batch. But Murphy and McNeil has a ton of uh, ton of good offerings out there, so you'll definitely find something that you like from them, no doubt. All right, let's get uh, let's get a little bit of this rinsed off, and then we'll bust out the Lancaster to take it all down. Man. I just can't get over how this is banging. It might just be because it's like a somewhat complex scent, but it definitely has good scent strength, but I just keep catching whiffs of it, which is a sign that it might be somewhat complex because it's keeping the brain entertained and you're not really going nose blind to the um, fragrance. Very nice. Get this off. Man. I know I got a few weepers. That's a little bit of a bummer, but I was still really nice shape. Like in enjoyment wise. Alright. We got the uh, Lancaster Red today. That's just one of the most luxurious ways you could cap off your shave is just that cloud soft towel. Very nice. Let's see if I can get some of this out of here. Always a, always a process, always an ordeal getting that out of there, but it is what it is. It's funny, I had a subscriber, not quite sure if they're new to the channel or if they've just been, um, you know, not actively commenting, but have been around for a while, I'm unsure. But they put on one of my recent videos. Yeah, on the next one, how about you shave your beard? <laughs> and leave the mustache. And I was like, well, as much as I would like you to dictate my shaves, <laughs> I will not be doing that. <laughs> I have no plans on shaving the beard at this time. Especially going into winter. Kind of doesn't make much sense, does it? Thanks for the interest in the in the channel though. I appreciate you. Alright, we're finishing up with Murphy and McNeil's Pisgah in collaboration with Black Mountain Shaving, thus the bear. The bear is uh, Black Mountain Shaving's uh, symbol. And this is um, an alcohol splash. So, good stuff. And one of the most sexy aftershave bottles in the game, I might add. 
So, industry standard restrictor right there. Good stuff. You could shake it with vigor. That's what I said. Very nice. Gotta love an aftershave that just goes on. Feeling very smoothing from feeling very soothing from the moment it touches your skin. It's kind of the feeling I'm getting from this one. Very nice. Alright guys, that about does it. Please check out that um, affiliate link in the description of this video if you have any plans to make uh, purchases in the future from Murphy and McNeil. They have their own brand of shaving products but they also have a used marketplace with you know all kinds of shit from underneath the sun in the shaving world so all right guys that pretty much does it that was an enjoyable one even if it wasn't a perfect one but i appreciate you hope you enjoyed the video and i will catch you guys on the next one cheers